Hey, look, look. Um, hey, 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 hey. Check this out, Reagan. Uh huh. I'm I, I'm going to be me tonight. My wife is actually next to me. I'm gonna show you just how reckless I am with the spouse next to me. It doesn't. Oh change. Lord, you. Where is she? I need to see it. You riding no, without no, the training know. wheels? Oh, she got. She got. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. It doesn't uh -oh. change. It doesn't change. You gotta That's get one in the room. I you can't get. I need you to get a cushion. And one of them cushions, them pillow cushions. And every time you say something stupid, I just want to see the cushion come into the shot. <laughs> it ain't going to change, damn it. It doesn't change. It's you so hard, you're going to knock the whole hat off your head. <laughs> Uh, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to Good Vibes Television. That's right, GVTV, Season 2, Episode Past 25. I'm one of your hosts, I'm RL. And to the right of me, I have my man, DJ PRS1. To the bottom, I had the lovely Savvy E. And at an angle, I have the love. I, 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 we all we, oh, see it on my Oh my goodness. Sorry. We have the lovely Dr. To Alicia Gaia Dean. Oh, oh. Ramon, what's your topic tonight? <laughs> I, I, I got to be the one to say it. Hey. Of course you do. You came up with the foolishness. Okay, but before we start, I want to uh, show y'all a new sponsor of ours because every week uh, PRS1 has said something about my cup or whatever I'm drinking, okay? So, I finally found someone to sponsor us. Uh, it's a non-alcoholic beverage. I'm so proud uh, uh, to be able to find the company. So, we have the GVTV non-alcoholic beer. It's 0.0%. And uh, you can get this. You're going to have to call me to get it. It's $6 a bottle. Wow. Um, it's, it's, it's like the champagne of beers. So, if you need one, <laughs> just holler at me. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> okay, so tonight, and, and 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 you get it in a bundle, right? With the with the new T-shirt we're putting out, say "fuck them kids." Yep, it, it comes with that T-shirt. <laughs> absolutely. So, since no one else wants to say what the topic, this topic um, that we're going to speak on in the beginning is, I will. Be glad to do it. Hey, so how do you approach your partner about their penis or vagina having an odor? <laughs> and the drum and the drum roll starts. I want to be the first one to answer that question. <laughs> this is how we're ending 2020, and I figured this is the oh yes. Smelly come lately. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like since we got a guest tonight, I think you know you always should let the guest go first. Oh Lord, and you're she's on the a, and she's a doctor. And she's a doctor. Oh, savvy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so funky. <laughs> I don't know. Well, first of all, I. I I've never been in that situation. So I, I thank goodness for that. I'll knock on wood. Cause that, I'm not going that's, that's to mind right now. Yeah. Nobody can see me. That's right. <laughs> that's a funky situation to be in. Um, <laughs> no pun. <punishment. laughs> I think having, so for me, I'm one of those um, talkers. So I always have to have a talk. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those. So, um, yeah, I might have to have a little conversation and get to, you know, whatever the root of that problem is, the odor mm -hmm. issue. That, one of the hints would be, um, why are you wearing your mask to bed? <laughs> 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 oh, God. No. Bringing all this stuff in the room, I'm like, what smells like that? Oh my god! I don't feel yeah. like if you smell it walking into the room, it's a it's look, it's, it's a, a medical it's that's a that's issue. The the door. So yeah. let, let, let let me do this. Let me do it because you said you haven't experienced it. I'm gonna go to a man because men 
we live a, a interesting life before we settle down. PRS one. I I I I've never scandal. No, I mean, no, I've, saying, I, I've never personally been in a situation where I smelt functified fish before. But um, are you serious? Well, I mean, I mean, before getting into it, um, I have smelled functified fish walk by me, but <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but ne- ne- nobody I've dated, and you know, um, had had that issue. I've, I've, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't recall any of anybody having that issue. Um, so it's one of those where, hey, um, you look real cute. And then you walk up to her and she go, what does that smell? All right, see you later. Deuces, I'm out. You know, <laughs> if I can smell it while walking up on you, we got an issue. But I have not been in that situation. But I know if I, if I was ever in that situation, it would be one of those things where um, you want to go take a shower together? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Like vinegar and soap. And vinegar <laughs> and body wash and so vinegar. You, just, you and... want to like just bring the bottle of vinegar to the shower? Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> what is this? Some kinky stuff? Yeah, vinegar. Yeah, yeah, we try this out. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. We try some new stuff. That's funny. <laughs> oh man, you know what? Oh. You know what? Once Uh-oh. again, phone. Since you brought this up, oh um, lord, to be the problem. Oh, mind you, god. mind you. I want to say less than five. Inches away is Miss Lindsay sitting next to him. <laughs> I'm waiting for the pillow. So, so look, uh, I've had uh, several. Enca- well, we're well, looking here. Who, who, who it's Tierra J of the Tierra J brand. Oh. <laughs> you got another surprise. Yes. 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 Oh, it's, it's all for you. Surprises. Yep. Yes. All these surprise guests popping on. It's like the doorbell rings, and it's like, who is it? Right. <laughs> and they oh, all my goodness. For Lindsay. I, I, welcome, you know what? welcome, TJ. How you doing? I'm good. Oh, my good. I got. Dr. Guy Dean and I got TJ on the show. I don't even need Savvy E and PR <laughs> fun no more. I know, right? <laughs> Savvy arranged all of this for you. She is like the gift that keeps on giving. She she, 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 she know okay. me. She <laughs> know me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I'm done. I want it. We can talk about whatever y'all want to talk. We ain't gotta talk about that foolishness no more. I agree. That was hold on, hold on. I agree. Wait, Tara well, wants a piece of this. Foolishness. I have to speak on a couple uh, uh, experiences. So, you know, back in the day, I was wild. I ain't going to lie to you. You know, I had multiple girlfriends. I probably had, you know, at, at one time in different, you know, relationships at the same time, four or five girlfriends or whatever. And there was this one young lady who, was, she was gorgeous. She was, she was real, real gorgeous. She had light brown eyes. She was uh, dark brown skin. And um, man, I, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to hit it, bang it, whatever you want to say, right? So um, we got together one night. She came down the house or whatever, and um, she came in, and I'm not sure. Remember back in the day, uh, young ladies used to wear uh, uh, K-Swiss, right? Okay, right. And um, she had, like, she had the uh, uh, the leather and she had the um, the cloth. You know, I mean, I, I love the back in the days to love chicks that wore K Swiss, you know, especially if they had little feet. Cause I, you know, that big feet, K, the K Swiss, when they're too long, they look, don't look, right. Right. Don't look, don't look right. K Swiss so, and Nets. Yeah. And if you remember, they used to wear them, them pleated skirts. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to, oh my God, I used to love. You got, the, you know, the, the nice legs and the no stomach. Oh my God. You know, I, I was just so, I was just, I just couldn't wait to get her naked, right? So with yeah, so we we sitting there, you know, she come over, and this is before I was a drinker, drinker, you know. So we we you know we we hugging, we kissing, and um, you know, I guess back then I wasn't really into taking women clothes off for them. You had to take your own shit off, you know what I mean? I took my shit off. You stood <laughs> on the other side of the bed, and you took your shit off, you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm trying to like peek at her because I want to see what her breasts look like when they fall out her bra. I'm doing all this right now. She got down to taking the, the, the skirt off. She had a nice butt, whatever. And um, she had on, you know, some panties, whatever. She didn't have thongs on, whatever. And um, 
she pulled her panties down, right? So I was in the bed. You know, I, I, I mean, I get naked in like three seconds. They don't take me nothing. Like, I don't unbutton the shirt. I only think <laughs> I unbutton my pants. I just pulled the shit down, right? <laughs> so I'm in I'm in the bed. I'll never forget this. So she get, she get in the bed. I don't smell anything yet. So she get in the bed and she got the covers up. You know, you women, y'all pull the covers right here and y'all lay on the pillow, you know, looking like, oh my God, so what you want to do, right? So, because she was so fine, and this shit is crazy, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm going I'm to give her that special loving tonight. I usually don't give most people special loving, but because she's fine, I don't want her talking bad about me. You know, the next day to her friend, I'm going to give her some special loving. And cue the pillow. I went I went to get underneath the covers, because I was going to give her some of that, what, what they call it, fellatio? Woo! Okay. Okay. Going down, down. Okay. So when I pulled the covers up and I put my head down, remember when you was in gym and y'all had that game, the uh, the, the balloon thing, whatever, the, the the thing when you pull it up in the air and everybody mm-hmm. run inside and pull it down so everything stuck it in and stay in the air? Yo, when I pulled that blanket down, that funk had the, the blanket up in the air. I smelled it instantly, right? <laughs> so now I'm underneath the sheet. And I know in my head, I said, I'm not, I'm not about to put my mouth on this. There's no way, right? But I'm thinking, maybe she got an infection. That's how bad it was thinking, right? And I might have been under the sheet from, you know, maybe 10 seconds, but it felt like forever because I'm like, oh my God, if I come up from the sheet, and she's gonna know I went smell. Bad. Right? So I kissed on her stomach, around her belly button, and it just, like, the funk, it was like, I was like, oh my god, this girl, well, she, her shit really do stink. And she's sitting up there waiting, is you gonna get down there or not? She waiting, she waiting, right? <laughs> you, and you know women, you know, you kiss on the stomach and you start to get close down there, some of them moan. You know you, you done had leg trout before. Look, no, <laughs> no, nah, so, so, <laughs> I come up out the covers, right? And, you know, I'm kissing on her chest and her neck, and it was just stuck in my nose. <laughs> and um, she must have seen, like, she, she, I couldn't really get into the kissing. You know, I, you know, like, I couldn't get into it because in my mind, I'm thinking, I can't put my, I can't put my shit inside of this woman. You know, <laughs> I can't do this. You know, because if I, as soon as I put, as soon as I put, put it in and her stuff start to open up, that funk <laughs> is going to come out even more. So I'm like, so, but she must have seen the look on my face because she said, "What's wrong?" And um, I said nothing. Why? She was, and I think she knew because ain't no way. If I smell it, you smell it. <laughs> so I'll never forget it, right? And I could, and I said nothing. I saw the look on her face. And I could see that she was embarrassed. And I said, I said, "Hey, look, um, you been out? You been out all day?" And she was like, "Why?" I was like, "Been out all day." I said. So I'm just asking, like, you know, um, like, have you, did you take a shower? <laughs> and she knew, she knew. And she was like, oh, yeah, I've been out all day. I was running with my friends, doing this and that. I and I was like, like that, daddy. Yeah, you know, and I was like, yeah, I said, uh, and I did, like, PRS once said, but I, I, you know, the whole shower conversation, like, when we started, she had to go. It was like, go home and take a shower. <laughs> you know, because I was turned off. That that was it. That was, you was she was too fine to have that happen. And, and and as I got older, I said she probably was just as excited to see me naked as I was to see her naked. We don't meet us, man. We forget that when people like each other, people like each other. And, you know, we get immature about it, but women get immature about it too. They can't wait to go see their man or see the dude they like and. You know, they want to do this and that. And shit happens, you know, because I know dudes that play basketball, go over to the girl's house and tell me, yo, this girl was sucking my... And it, I, I've been sweating. My balls been sweating all day. And she still did it. So it happens. But I just, I, you know, that was just... But, okay, now I got I to time to leave it alone. <laughs> I, I want to say this girl's name so bad. I want to say her no, name sorry. so bad. <laughs> I, I want to say her name so bad, but I'm not going to. So it is real quick. So she she comes over, right? And um another bad chick. I don't know what it is about these bad chicks, right? She come on over and um 
we're, we're rolling around, we're on the floor. So, you know, I'm like, oh, well, we're going to get some carpet burns tonight. No big deal. I'm, I'm ready for this because I want this. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got that um, nose burn. Yeah. I go to take her shoe off, right? And she said, no, no, no. Now She said, no, 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 but I already took the shoe off. Yo, her feet was jumping. Corn chips. Her feet. Doritos. Her, her, her feet was so funky. And I just took off one shoe. Where did I you took get off these one chicks, shoe. bro? <laughs> I, uh, so, so, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like so, so remember, should have been on the show. Remember years ago, um, you had those, um, uh, uh, those call, you could call, like, you call in. And for men, you had to pay like fifty cent a minute, but for women, it was free. It was like them date lines, right? Now I remember that. So they, they still have them. They still they just they just you know the internet and all, you know all that stuff. But they I mean um social media they still have them. So for men, the first thirty minutes was free on that phone number. I would go to people's houses and use up their minutes, <laughs> for, you know, and, and meet chicks. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, that's how I met a lot of them girls. But man, I'm telling you, I, I had to talk to her. You know, she she knew. He just cut himself off. Thank God, that, that was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hey. No. What happened, man? <laughs> you just popped off. Good vibe jumped up. Good vibe jumped up, and I started watching. But anyway, anyway, the, the reason for that topic tonight is you should talk to those individuals. Because even though you may not have sex with them anymore, there's somebody else that is going to make that adventure. And they need to be sure. properly prepared for when they encounter this individual. You might meet Prince Charming after me. And you don't want Prince Charming to, you know, to smell that. You dig what I'm saying? I mean, yo, if you, if, if you, you, everybody knows if they funky or not. That's one thing. When I get done exercising, I take my clothes off, I can smell myself. So, I know some ladies out there, the same thing. You know what I mean? You smell yourself. My man said vinegar. You know, nobody else wants to speak on this. You know, I, I understand, you know, because it's embarrassing. But I'm not. 99 douche. I, I had those moments in my life. I've had. Like, I, I got one more story. One more story. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, uh-oh. Look, one more story. When we go to a third story. Oh. This, this is this. So one more story. So. Oh. I had this girl, right? <laughs> and it was nothing. This girl was not cute. She was not cute. But she had a big ass. She had a big ass. And that's why I say men, we're, you know, we're visual. We're all, we're mm-hmm. visual. So I'm thinking, I ain't going to do nothing but have sex with her from behind anyway. Mm-hmm. She was a freak. They called her Freaky, and then they, they called her her name. It was Freaky, her name. She yeah. had a name. Got you. We outside the car in a p- parking lot, right? Have a bent over the hood, pull her pants down, her ass thing. The <laughs> ass, high not the vagina. It was her ass. She might have had a high It white. was her ass. Her ass. It, I mean, it smelled just like ass. <laughs> And and I could uh, and, and I, I'm 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 gonna be man enough to tell you what happened. Real niggas eat booty. She still got it. <laughs> she mm-hmm. she still got it. End up with a whole truffle butter line down your stomach. <laughs> she still got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I again. Look at what. Yeah, what? what's going on with your face? My <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> but. I, it I had, had to, to be I done. Had to go somewhere else at the moment. I had to go somewhere else. <laughs> I had to leave the house. <laughs> nah, I didn't have a conversation with her because I can't make a complaint when I went ahead and used the product anyway. Mm. So is that is that where that, that that dirty Diana came from? <laughs> nah, man. That that that. Remember that you, y'all seen the bad commercial with the toilet paper? Yeah, and, yeah, Charmin. They, you know, and they said no, no, you know, because they. They wipe their ass, and there's always little pieces of white toilet paper on their ass and mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah, so she 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 started that way back then. It was a high wipe. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> but I still, I still, she still got it though. 
And uh, and, I, and, and and y'all, I'm saying all of this with the, the Mrs. Lindsay next to me, so you know yep. I ain't got no shame. <laughs> I'm waiting for the pillow. I swear, I'm waiting for that pillow to come on in. It's not. She know I'm ignorant. <laughs> Sad. Brought to right. you by GVTV. GVTV. <laughs> hey, so just so y'all know, this is the last show for 2020. Um, we'll recon- reconvene on the 5th of January 2021. Um, so we're just basically throwing topics out. What would you guys say was your best show for the year so far? 2020. Anyone that our L was on. <laughs> Basically, basically, I think I think mine, he's a, he's a mine would have been the first one. The first one we when we started the second season, we started with a bang. I mean, and I had so much fun. I it was fun. crazy, Tara. You, I know you were part of it. You brought us out onto the stage. Yeah. That yeah. was an awesome night for me. I I, I really enjoyed yeah. it. We was nervous as hell, but we did the thing. Yeah. And savvy did it, a hell of a job. Production savvy, you did a hell of a job on that production, yeah. man. That, Thank that, you. That, that, that came out boom. Those models came out, and all five people in the audience was cheering so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think we had crazy. more than five people, guys. <laughs> but you know what? Um, what was um good for me for that night was mm-hmm. the dancers. Those yes. little those mm-hmm. children, they were awesome. Yep. Now, if you guys, if you guys didn't check DC. out the show, go back and check it out. Yeah, it's, it's they came the all showcase. DC and they did their thing. Yep, it's so, on YouTube. Um, yeah, that was those little part. kids. Yep, they they did their they thing. Crazy. They did their thing. When we were in um middle school, me mm-hmm. and the um director of Main Attraction Divas, she always talked about having a dance studio. And that was the name, Main Attraction Divas. Big person in business, and she was like, "I'm going to be a dance teacher." I was like, "Yes, I can't wait!" And she did it. I'm so proud of her. Yep. So proud of her. And, they, and, you know, and, and just like the name said, man, you know, main attraction divas, it was mad. Yeah. Well, as we say in the island, it was mad. That shit was mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. I would I, really I, love I to do something like that again. The Father's Day show. Oh, yeah. The Father's mm. Day show was really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah the Father's Day show was really nice. Oh. The ladies did a great job. The ladies did a <laughs> great yeah. job. Yeah, yeah it was. they did. They it did. Was exactly. I mean, I, at one point, I thought we were going to get bashed, but um, they did. Yeah, I, I was waiting they, for that. Represent, representing the dads, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, they did. That, you know what? That's that's probably my favorite show too. The ladies did an excellent job. Mm-hmm. They really did. Mm-hmm. I think everybody's relation was like organic and real. And yes, from my yes. heart about different things. That was a really good show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was. And everybody brought up, you know, you know, uh, instances yeah. in their past with their fathers and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. It was really educational as well. Yeah, that was a really good show. Savvy, how about you? What was your favorite? I mean, to be honest, I really like them all. I right. really like them because I like mm-hmm. just being on the show with you guys. So I don't really have like a favorite. I can't say this one or that one. Right, right. Because when I get on here, I have a good time. Me too. You know what I guess? I we, think we, that we, we all we have. rock every show. Yes, we have like awesome guests, and they and the thing about it is, you know, they come in and they fall right in line, you know, right. especially with the crazy one right there, you know. So, um, I want to say thank you to all the guests that's been on, mm-hmm. especially Miss T. Ever that's always filling in. Yep. And 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 thanks to our new person, Miss <laughs> Doctor Guy Dean, you know, that's been jumping on. You know, it's a pleasure having you. Yeah, Mo finally got somebody to to, to square up with. <laughs> Yeah, right, right, right. So I, I really like them all. So yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me say that. Uh, let me correct. The one that I have a problem with is when I went away and you and that one down there was up there bashing women. I was like, mm, they're gonna wait till I'm not on the show and we're just gonna bash women. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that one. It was oh. Mother's Day though, so it wasn't Mother's oh. Day. So. No, it wasn't Mother's Day. But it's all the show, and I'm like, oh, so y'all wait till I go away. Yeah. I'm like, I see what's going on. Mm-hmm. What was that topic about? Uh, I don't, I don't what remember. What was that about? I don't remember. Uh, it was the, the, the topic was called "fuck them hoes." <laughs> I know exactly. I don't think that's what came up with about. that. Oh man, BRS One came up with that. One. <laughs> yeah, right. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, FDH. Oh, oh 
my God. FDH. <laughs> that <would help. laughs> FDH and FDK. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. Well, uh, interesting. No one invited. No one invited Miss Tierra. Nor, nor we. We weren't invited to that show. No. Uh, no. We we're not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're definitely not dumb. Uh, no. I know that's right. Uh. So, guys, like. um I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate um, holidays, but I know the holiday is coming up. Christmas is coming up. Right. And, you know, um, we in a, you know, in a tough time right now. And I just wanted to get your opinion or, or things of what's going on. Like, how is your holidays going? You know, have y'all ran into anything bad, you know, since um, the COVID been going on and, you know, if people needing help or the good side of what's going on about um, the holidays. Can y'all speak on that a little bit? Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I'll 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 chime in from <laughs> you know the lovely state of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> COVID city. COVID city. Um, we now we have a vaccine, and I know we we definitely touched on this topic the last time we were on, and um, and being an educator. I, you know, it's, it's on the news that we are next in line somewhere um, within the next couple weeks to receive the vaccine. And um, for the holidays, you know, it, it's heartbreaking where we're looking at a new stimulus package that, that just came out and they're working on that. And it's just really sad to see how many people are who have lost their jobs. We have so many people out there that are really, really struggling this holiday season, uh, families without foods. And, and this bothers me a lot because I teach in a, a, a significantly affluent area, but it's like, it's the kids in between that get that, fall through the cracks and it's those families that are so impacted by COVID-19 and and parents losing their jobs and people just ashamed or really hurting and they're trying their best to stay above water and not really reaching out and when they do reach out you know the help really isn't there no you know we and I don't I don't think this is happening even just in Florida. It's happening in states everywhere. Yep. You know, we feel failed. Our government has failed us where, you know, you're looking at people that are approaching the holiday season. Christmas is what, three days away Mm -hmm. and or two days away now. And and, um, there are people that are homeless, families that are homeless and, and when I think of Florida and I think about the beauty of it and the happiness that is supposed to, to be around our state, it's, it's like a dark, gloomy time. It really is. And it's sad. And, you know, you can, you can try to reach out as much as you can, but now there are so many restrictions on how you can do that. You know, how, how can you, you can't just go to food banks and just pass out food anymore. It's like everything now you have restrictions and you see the, the long lines of cars of people waiting for food, but it's the people that don't have a car. Those are the people that need the food. And, it, and, and it's like, they can't get the food because you don't have a car. So how, you know, those are the people that are falling through the cracks that we're really struggling to, and I think about that. That really bothers me a lot because it, it's tough. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel. I know, you know, you guys live in a different state. I th- I look at it from the state where I live. I, I feel blessed, you know, that my f- family is okay. We're healthy. You know, we have provisions. And it's like, I think about those families that, just have it right and 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 and, you know based on what you're saying too i mean that it's a good recipe to elevate crime you know that's the that's the crazy part 
because now people can't get the, the the basic basic necessities that they need. So some people just don't have a choice. But you know, it's gonna lead. I, I could just see it. That's this. That's one of my fears is that now the crime rate is gonna go up. You know, because it is because people need to live. People are just gonna be doing. You know robberies burglaries all this stuff just just to survive just to get some food to feed their families that's the crazy part and can you blame them you know what i mean it's one of those things where can you go you can't tell them that hey man go find a job where and restaurants are but, shut down you know what i mean where are you finding a job go cut somebody right. grass i can't you know what i mean <laughs> i gotta have a vehicle it's, it's one of those things man it's 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 sad um yeah i don't know how you the rest of y'all feel about it how about you, Miss Tierra? Sad. It's sad to see so many people out of work that, uh, you know, we read about the Great Depression in school. I never thought that we would be a part of. Right, living um, it. Yeah, I never thought I would have to see it, you know, firsthand. Um, I have never seen the, the numbers of unemployment. It's, oh my gosh, it's outrageous like the numbers are in the millions um i think when this pandemic first hit back in march they bought off the numbers at the end of april and they were saying five half a million people tried to um start their first unemployment um you know how you initiate it and call in they mm -hmm. said five hundred thousand people tried to and they couldn't they couldn't they said they were getting hung up on they were getting a runaround they were getting denied and it's it's crazy. I know people that are out of work right now and have not received a single penny or dime from unemployment. It, 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 it's sad because, you know, you're used to just seeing this time being so merry and jolly and everybody, you know, everybody's heart grows five times bigger around Christmas time. That's right. And, you know, it's the giving season. You see a lot of people, you know, the um. The people that dress up in Santa Claus, what's that? The um, the goodwill. You don't even see those people out anymore. Salvation Army. Yes, yeah, Sal yeah, Salvation Army. I couldn't. It was one of them. Like you don't see that anymore. It's just like nobody's in the holiday spirit of anything. I'm just grateful and thankful that you know we celebrate the story behind Christmas. It's not Christmas. It's about you know Jesus and you know just. We, we talk about that part and aspect of it. We're thankful that we're still alive. We're thankful that we didn't, um, you know, get COVID. We're thankful for just every little thing that we have. Like, I'm thankful that I still have a roof over top of my head. Mm -hmm. I'm still thankful I can travel in my car. I'm thankful that me and my daughter, we, she has asthma. I have bronchitis. I'm so grateful that we did not catch COVID because it would have been detrimental to both of us, we could have died. So I'm just grateful and thankful for those little things and that I'm able to get through another year with her healthy. So, yeah. All right. Thankful for toilet paper. Mm hmm. And speaking about toilet paper, I was watching the news the other night and I think because we about to, um, cause we was about to have a storm or they say we was about to have a storm mm -hmm. and people were, you know, outside of already what we're going through and how, when this first started, people were going into and buying toilet paper and all this stuff off the shelves. And they were doing a, um, an interview um, on, I think the news, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday, where, you know, they had to put signs up telling people like, you only can buy, you know, two things of toilet paper, like per family and stuff like that. And it's like, we as a society, when we go through or we hear something, our mind go into panic mode. And we start buying up everything and putting all this stuff in our house. And then sometimes we don't even really need all that. Mm -mm. You know? And then mm -hmm. um, my daughter, it was funny because she kept saying, Ma, every, you know, when you go out, buy some toilet paper. And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> okay, so it's only two of us. So how much toilet paper do you think we need? Right. You know, so, I mean, I get it because people get, um, you know, they go into panic mode, they get scared and things like that. But um like Tierra said, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't celebrate, but I do like the the flashy lights of it all. You know, I really do like that. I like to drive around and see people's houses and listen to the Christmas music and stuff like that. And the whole atmosphere um, of it. Yeah, I do. I really do. And like she said, people's hearts get really, really big. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. But I just feel for people that, you know, just don't have a lot. 
you know, and don't have families that can give to them. Um, I found something out today that was really, really um, disturbing to me. A friend of mine, we were talking on the phone and she was talking about her Asian coworker. And my friend, she wanted to find a family where she wanted to help them far as toys for the children or food. And she was talking to her Asian friend at work. And when she was telling her Asian friend that, her Asian friend looked at her and she asked her, you know, what's wrong? And she was like, you know, in our culture, we don't give poor people um, money or gifts of food because we feel like this. If they're poor, if we're giving them something, it's not going to make no difference because they're going to be poor tomorrow. And that just kind of broke my heart because I'm like, even not even for the holidays, just every day. I mean, I understand this person is homeless or out of out of work, but to have that mentality was kind of, you know, I was kind of taken back from that. I really was. And it's, it's crazy because it's one of my one of my cultures. I always studied the Asian culture. That she said that that's how their family is, and right. she was saying that her friend father because of like old time values they were big supporters of trump and they really liked trump because they felt like trump was a no nonsense person and my friend was trying to explain to her friend basically did your family ever really study you know the type of person trump was that they didn't care they just liked what they saw in front of them you know mm-hmm. so um like i said when she said the thing about how they do not give to the poor the poor because if I give to the poor today, they still will be poor tomorrow. It kind of like broke my heart. I was like, wow, that we have people out there that really think like that. Right. Wow. Um, so for 2020, um, for the holiday season, I think this is the uh, unfortunate, perfect ending to, to the last four years. Uh, when he, uh, eight years ago, he was he was busy uh, meddling with Barack and um, throwing shots at... Uh, Everything that came up and that uh, Obama had to deal with, uh, H1N1, this could have been done. Y'all need to check his birth certificate if I was in office. And then he got in office and he made a, a whole lot of promises. He said he was going to do this. Em- uh, employment is, is 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 booming and everything is booming and everything is booming. And you had all these people support him. You, you had all the races come out, um, the white supremacists. You know, you had all the uh, the, the greedy people, the, the individuals with money who want to keep money and could care less about middle class and lower class. And they came out and they voted and they stood by him and those white supremacists and, and, and all those other uh, hateful people. And it was really scary because for the first two years in his term, it looked like he was winning. It looked like the the the, the world fed into his shenanigans and the last 18 months um, have just been a disaster. And thankfully he's on his way out the door. You know, uh, you talk about the unemployment numbers, uh, the people who were unable to uh, get unemployment benefits, how they struggled to uh, get in touch with, uh, uh, what is it, Maryland DSS or whatever here, as far as unemployment benefits and how they was hanging up, or you know, the phone would ring, ring, and after like the twentieth ring, it would just hang up on them. Right. Or it would be put on hold for like three hours and then get hung up on. Um, or they started having this. Uh, uh, what was it? You would call in, or you would go online, and they would give you a date and a time, and you would sit and wait by the phone, and they would never call. Mm. And. It's just been a, a, a struggling year. And you take a look at uh, other countries whose stimulus packages were way better than ours. But we're supposed to be the country uh, that the others are supposed to be envious of. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, countries that were getting $2,000 a month. They gave us $1,200 one time. The stimulus that is coming out within the next 10 days is $600. Yep, half of that. Um, First one. And, and it's not even for everybody. And it's not even for everybody. Right. Um, and so it's, it's an unfortunate, perfect end. And I hope all those hateful, racist individuals just take a look at where it got the country, where, where they got our country. Because it's, it, it's, this falls on them. This just doesn't fall on Trump. You know, everybody knew he was ignorant. But you had all those hateful people, those 
just, 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 oh man, despicable people who voted to put him in office. And this is where the country is at. Mm-hmm. You know, you have countries outside of here that are getting together in stadiums, you know, and going to sporting events with no issues. COVID damn near wiped out. And here we are, we back on lockdown, and this lockdown seemed to be more serious than what it was back in April. Yeah. You know? This morning um, on the news, I was looking, me, it was a whole bunch of places locked down. Eu- Europe is a whole bunch of places that's yeah. locked down. Yeah, that's but, you, you know, you got a whole lot of places that aren't and haven't mm-hmm. been in two mm-hmm. months. Right. You know, but we supposed, you know, to be the greatest country in the world, and it's we have so many hateful people that this is where we're at. It wasn't just Trump, but it was the the millions of them. And that's why we're here now. And and for me, for the holiday season, because I was sick during Thanksgiving and I I couldn't sit at the table with my family and eat. I couldn't hug and kiss nobody. I'm looking forward to Christmas. Um, So I can be next to somebody, you know, and, and, and hug them and kiss them and just enjoy uh, uh, the season. Right. You know, I know the kids are uh, into, you know, the kids, you know, Santa Claus just left uh, our house, you know, and, and we know what the real reason for the season is, you know, but just to be around people, I'm telling you, that is one of the, uh, I, I just, I just really do there's no describe having COVID and people can't be around you, not even your family. And, um, you know, I took me and my sons were talking about it today and I said, man, we are blessed, man. We just lost. Uh, two teachers in Maryland, husband and wife, from COVID, they died pretty much uh, back to back um, with their kids at their bedside. I said, "Man, we're blessed. We 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 made it, you know, and um, we're here to to, to hopefully see uh, Christmas." But you know, um, it makes me appreciate um, having a family a whole lot more through, uh, during the holiday season. Um, yeah, we we yeah, we out here buying gifts and spending money and stuff like that. But I don't feel um I I guess the the rush of buying gifts this year. It's more so I just want to wake up with my family and be able to sit next to them, hug them, kiss them, embrace them, laugh and smile and be in the same room with them. Um, that's more of a rush for me this year. You know, like I said, we still buying gifts and stuff and all that good stuff. But for me, I don't have a rush for that this year. I just want to be around the people I love because I know I, it could have took me out in November. If not me, it could have took one of our sons out. Right. And um, so I, I'm just real appreciate, appreciative to be here. At the same time, like I said, it's just one of those uh, uh, unfortunate, perfect endings to his four-year term. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it's... <laughs> Going, you know, touching back, I, I just found the article touching back on on the lockdown. Um, basically, the article had goes goes on to say that Spain has declared an emergency extendable until March two twenty twenty one. Uh, UK announced one month lockdown. France two weeks. Germany four weeks. Italy has also followed is is also following shortly. All these countries have confirmed the second wave is more deadly than the first. So yeah, we do got to be, you know, careful. We got to, as you say, we got a lot of people that's in the hospitals right now that 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 this lockdown, not even with COVID, just this patients in there, but because of this pandemic, can't see their families. Mm-hmm. You got kids in the pediatric wards that can't see their families. This this whole Christmas season is just sad for them right now. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm hating that that we're going so dark right now on the show, but it it it's the state of the world that we're in right now, and and it, it's just sad. It's just things that we need to keep in mind. If anything that we can do to make things different for you know our humanity out there, then you know do what we can if we could think of anything, you know. Um, but basically, right now it's 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 a time to reflect and basically spend time with the ones you love. It's not about uh the the presents it's not about the toys it's not about none of that stuff it's just hugging the people around you calling up that one person or or, or long lost relative that you haven't seen or heard from from years that old school mate say hey man i still think of you i love you you know what i mean um stuff like that you know it's 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 we got to reach out to each other make sure everybody family safe stuff like that you know it's 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 all about um 
the fellowship right now. It's, 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 we need to fellowship with each other. That's what I think this has brought us to. And, you know, um, basically when 2020 started, when, when, when we left, um, 2019 everybody was like yo 2020 this is going to be the year yo 2020 is going to be the year this is going to happen that's going to happen well guess what that man upstairs said you know what i'm still in charge so i'm figure out a way to bring y'all together and this is it i'm not saying that he brought this disease but you got to look at the light you know at the end of the tunnel It, it it brought us back to basically enjoy each other um because we were going wild. I mean, if you think about it, the world was going wild. So we got pulled back, you know, and, and, and we're now appreciating what's really important. And, and that's the good part of what, you know, happened in 2020. Um, but so, it's still also, a, um, uh-huh. not to cut you off, but oh, you that got some people that's out here that still don't um, want to acknowledge that this is real, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know? I have some people that be like the fake pandemic and, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, all this kind of stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm looking at them and like, you don't see what's going on around us and um, what's going on all around us. is real. And it's nothing fake about it. So it's like, and then you have people like um, Ramon and other people like my daughter and stuff like that has suffered from it and been through it. So right. it's kind of a slap in the face to them when you say that this is fake. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. you know so you know i think that we you know we as people we just, we just got to do better we got to do better mm-hmm. we got to do better um with ourselves we got to do better with each other not you know and not just because this happened because to be honest like you said this should show us something mm-hmm. about ourselves about other people you know this should really show us something and if we don't get nothing out of that this right here that we just a sad, sad nation. Yeah. 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 Yep. This this well, 2020 was a year of good, you know, realizations. We we, we started to realize, you know, families, um, side chicks started to realize they were side chicks. You know, it was a whole bunch of realizations. It got serious <laughs> for the side chicks, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. It got know? serious for them. Right. So look, kids found out their parents didn't know what they was doing with the homework. Oh, oh no. that. that's so <laughs> true. So true. Par- yeah, yeah, parents yeah. starting to realize how important the teachers really are. And how yeah. much they go yes. Through, right? <laughs> how important school is. Like, yeah. oh, y'all need to go back to work. It's just COVID. Right. Like, damn. <laughs> you right. Right. That's how it is in Florida. <laughs> The nerve of those teachers to be at home. We're doing it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you're a teacher, right? Yeah. I remember uh, Regan mm. and I had this similar conversation about what it was it a month or two ago. Yep. Yep. He had the nerve to say to me, he's like, oh, <laughs> I need like an extra paycheck for yeah, this. Yeah, man, because I got to be a school teacher <laughs> at home. I <laughs> I'm like a teacher's aide. I said, hold on. We're supposed to pay you. By the way, teachers, let me remind you again, we're the most underpaid people. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we are we are teachers, we are moms, we are dads, we are the caretakers, we are the mentors, we are the, the medical professionals, the mental professionals, we are the the cheerleaders, we are the everything with those children. And I had to remind my brother. I said, hold on. You want a paycheck for those kids that you made? <laughs> that nerve of that guy. <laughs> oh, you better come again. I'm like, no. I said, because when those little suckers go to school and they're gone for a good eight hours and you're sitting back like, yeah, this house is nice and quiet. Yeah, I call said, it yeah, who's wearing them? Those teachers, those <laughs> teachers are the ones that are hearing them. But you know what? Hats off to my fellow educators. I am so proud. I am so proud. I say it again. I am so proud. We will have an educator in the White House come January 20th of 2021. And we will also have an Indo- I don't even know how you 
Having having someone uh, yeah. who is yeah. a woman. Mm-hmm. I am so proud. I am so proud. Those were moments that brought tears to my eyes throughout this entire time. And I felt pride. I felt accomplished. I wanted my daughter to know how important that was because this is something in her lifetime that she is able to be a part of and to witness and to understand. And it, it, it's for people of color who came from very similar backgrounds. We are Caribbean people. We're also um, in, in Indian. We have Indian heritage, um, you know, the East Indian heritage. And it, it, it was exciting. And as a woman, woman who believes in education, I'm an educator, not for my salary, case my governor didn't know. <laughs> I'm an educator <laughs> for the love of education, for the, for, for the kids that I teach. That's why, you know, I do what I do. And, and I'm pretty sure, you know, 95% of our educators out there, they do it for those said reasons. You know, you always have the few that mess up and they're in it for the wrong reasons, whatever those reasons might be. Um, and hopefully they get out in time and they, they kind of find their way. But, you know, one thing I wanted to, to also talk about as we wrap up 2020, and I, I had this conversation with my students like a couple weeks ago and I let them know, I'm like, what we are to humanity is like a wave in the ocean. And they're sitting there, they're seventh grade. And they're like, what? Like, that's like, what are you saying? That's not even a sentence that makes no sense. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> one person, but if one person, and, and I've come across people, so many people like this, and I'm sure you guys have too, where they're, they're like, oh, I can't make a difference. I'm just one person. I can only figure out what I'm doing. But if everyone thought like that, then we would not have, we would not have a community. Right. So all it takes is one person and one good gesture. All it takes is us, you know, making a meal and probably taking it over to our neighbor's house. Or, for example, I have neighbors who had COVID-19. They're sisters. They're elderly sisters that live together. I didn't know if they were Trump supporters. I do live amongst a lot of Trump supporters. Um, My neighbor's getting COVID. But I thought to myself, the neighborly thing for me to do, I, I have, I'm able to have. And so I packed up a bag and I sat it at their door and I called and I left a message and I said, you know, I, you know, I, I, I just wanted, I, I, I know you can't go to the store. So I figured I would drop off, you know, some potatoes and vegetables and fruit and just things that I had in my house that I figured they could Mm -hmm. use. And, but all it takes is just one person and one gesture of kindness. And so even like what Savvy said about, you know, the Asian people thinking like that, that's heartbreaking because they're part of our nation. They're part of our population. And so if we had people just thinking like that, then we would really humanity would be lost. Yeah. And so, you know, we have to remember that people people because if you know, if I get a cut right now, the same color blood is flowing from my veins than it would someone else's. And so it's like we have to remember that we are we are people. We're human beings first. Mm-hmm. And you just treat everyone with kindness and respect and dignity. And that's all you can give and give whatever you have to give. And the more you give, the more you have surprisingly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, but unfortunately it seemed like only colored people believe that if, you know, when you get cut, you know, I believe it's the same thing that, uh, you know, same color as you. And that's the sad part. You know, uh, we need uh, some of these Caucasian individuals to get on the same page. Uh, you know, as far as that understanding and, uh, you know, that, that, that seemed to be the issue in this country for whatever reason, you know, I don't know. Um, 
I just think it's envy. I really do. I believe uh, uh, those racist individuals are, are very envious of people, um, people of color. Uh, I don't know why, you know, but I'm quite sure it's something fatty because we have, you know, we're more athletic um, because of, you know, whatever skill or whatever we do that's better than them, something stupid, you know, because it's, it's, if you ask the racist, it's really, they really don't know why they dislike you. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know, hopefully they can get on um, the same page as what you say, you know, as far as they look. But the same. You know, we are the same. So they hate, you know, and, and it's it's true. It's almost like they despise people of color up until they need that person of color. Because if that person who is dicks. a racist and say. they're flying around their Confederate flags on their cars or they have it as a license plate, as I see around here a lot, um, if they happen to get into an accident and they can't even help themselves and that person of color shows up and pulls them out of that car and helps them, or guess what? Has to give them blood. Oh, they'll gladly take it, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, TJ, oh. you, TJ, you being quiet, TJ. Are, are, are women are more curvy? Um, we got bigger penises? I don't know. There could be a couple things you're <laughs> jealous of. <laughs> more, beautiful. more beautiful. Yeah, we got queens. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We do. I said that before, and I said that this year. You know, we view our women differently than Caucasian men do white, their women. You know, we have queens. You know, we we know there's a limit to push our queens. You know, I don't think white men really, they ain't got no limit. They, they'll push that bitch down some stairs every day of the week they could. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it is what it is. I have, I have white friends that are married. And, uh, you know... Going back 20 years, even when I was younger to now, I've only known one couple, and they're my neighbors, who are loving and affectionate, Mm -hmm. and he, like, respects her. Like, he respects her, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That is it. One couple. Well, everybody else I met, man, he's an asshole. (laughs) He's a straight-up asshole. Like, he was like, I I told you I'll be in there. Fuck. Like... (laughs) I wouldn't, yo. I say a lot of stuff on here. I would never speak to that woman like, like. Right. She would let me have that moment, but as soon as I came in the house, oh my goodness, <laughs> it would be awful. I'm sure she's giving you that Amen. look right now. No, she left. She left. She left. She made a comment when oh, he walked away earlier. Oh, she was next to me when I said all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I thought she said something earlier. Oh, she, yeah, yeah. yeah she, I, she know I'm ignorant. So she, <laughs> she knows she know what she married. Yeah. Too, so. that's, that's the beautiful part. She she knows, you know, I'm, I'm playful. I'm playful, you know. But to go off of what you were saying, Dr. Um, Alicia, um, you know, this is the first time that I have seen just outlandish, you know, like just character and how I didn't know there were this many racist people in the world. Right. You know, I'm only 33. And I, you know, you see certain stuff, but it's like not directed towards you. So you just let it go and let it slide. Like I used to be able to speak to people about um, politics. And now it's just like, I don't even want to say nothing to anybody because I don't know where this will go. Right. We don't know if we're going like, to be, you know, going to blows after this. Or that's something. what I'm saying. It's starting to get violent now. Yeah, like I can't have an honest conversation about, okay, I'm a Democrat, you're a Republican, let's just agree to disagree. We don't have to agree on everything, you know, but this is just what it is as far as foreign policy is concerned or right. as far as, you know, min, um, minimum wage is concerned, as far as health care is concerned. I feel like I can say my views and points, you know, and then you can say what you feel in your perspective. And then that can be that, but no, it's a whole thing of Obama must be erased. He did this, all this damage. Um, Unemployment has never been as um, low as it is, you know, with him, he'll say certain things like um, unemployment is low. And I'm like, are we looking at the same thing? Mm -hmm. Like it is people that live, two blocks down the street from where he lives at that are homeless. It's a row 
of people two blocks down from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Mm -hmm. that are homeless, homeless. And he doesn't want to acknowledge that. I remember when um, I pass it every day. Yeah, Black Lives Matter first started when Mayor Bowser, when Mayor Bowser um, first put the Black Lives Matter directly on 16th Street. So mm-hmm. you see, it says Black Lives Matter, and then the White House um, he put a barricade. So it used to be like I think maybe you couldn't go a thousand feet in front of the White House. We used to be able to get you know a, a little close to the White House. You can't even get on. Um, you can't even get on the grounds anymore. Right. It's the White House, all these barricades, and then the street. You can't even get on the sidewalk. That's how much he barricaded himself in the White House. And we were like, wow, wow, wow. But this is what you started. Mm Because we know you don't see black or white, you see green. That's all Mm -hmm. you see. But you didn't say nothing to them about, you know, standing back and down. You just said back. You said stand by. Yep. You said stand by. You said pause. Yep. Don't stop what you're doing. Pause it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you did all that to get your agenda pushed so mm-hmm. that you can get in the White House. And then they have it in black and white. No, on video where you mm-hmm. said, if I was to become a president, I would be Republican. They're dumb and stupid and they believe anything you say. And I'm white. I'll pass. So it's just like all this came into fruition and people are still out here defending this person to this right. day. Right. I just don't understand. Mm-hmm. But like um, Ramon said, I am happy that this has come to an end. Life is too short. Sometimes you have to, you know, destroy in order to build up. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad, you know, we went through that and now we can go through this. We have a black woman inside the White House, not as a maid. Yes, you know, Lord. Running. Because we know who's going to run the White House. We already know who's going to run you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and that barricade is gonna get pushed back. We are gonna have cutty on the lawn. It's not gonna be no. It's not gonna be a barricade. No. We gonna have cookout. No, no, no. We gonna have chicken, chicken curry on the lawn. Yeah, she gonna see the AKA showing out. Sure. It's chicken. gonna be a party. Yeah. Oh, wow. everything. So I'm, I'm really excited for January 20th. Yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes. I nope. am. I'm, I'm beyond thrilled. I, I just, it's like in my calendar, I am counting down the days. There are days I wake up and I'm like, is it January 20th yet? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, think is it was, it? Yeah, is it? I think it was two days ago. Uh, uh, she sent me a, a text basically saying it's uh, how many more days till Christmas. And I sent her, it's exactly one month till January 20th. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Because you know, the reporters are still down here making noise. Yeah. They have so, they have been you thing, know, our I, president I, said. Right. And this president is still trying say, to fight, you know, oh, fight for the position. Yeah. Yes. Right. It, it's sad. I mean, sometimes you have to bow out gracefully. He and doesn't he, know how to do that. There's it's nothing cool about him. Right. I, I haven't seen much more about the martial law. Would, would, have you guys seen anything else about martial law? I know he was trying to, uh, you know, that should only that should only go into place if the country is under some sort of like siege, like you know, like like well, a, a foreign country. Is coming in right. Well, in his mind, the, the, you know, you know, um, the mm-hmm. Democrat Party is trying to put the con- country under siege. <laughs> no, nah, that, that's 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 that bullshit. You know, yeah. they wanted to do yeah. martial law. Right. They should have went to uh, Chicago and locked the locked Chicago the hell down because. Chicago's been uh, out of control for years. I always wondered why they didn't do martial law down there. They have, I mean, just just the killings and the violence. Uh, a good friend of mine lost his son in September. Uh, dude shot him in the back after robbing him and letting right. him walk away. Mm-hmm. Shot him in the back. Um, they have a video out. It came out early in the year. And it was one last year where dude was just recording um, uh, under uh, somewhere underneath an underpass or whatever, and he was just listening to the gunshots. And he recorded for like five minutes, man. And I mean, it wasn't like one or two, two weapons. It was like 30 weapons for like five minutes just going off, you know. So I, that's why, you know, when he mentioned that martial law shots, man, he, he, he's a whole clown, man. I can't wait till he get the hell out of there because Chicago should have been the first city 
to get martial law, to get some order. You know, people are dying at a ridiculous rate mm-hmm. uh, in Chicago. So that's why I say he's a clown. He ain't going to do that, he, you know, because mm-hmm. Chicago would have been the first city to get it, he, you know, for some counting shit. You know, I, I, you know, the, uh, just on the news before we came on, they showed the uh, Christmas picture of him and his wife uh, this year, the last one. And it's edited. They didn't even take a Christmas picture. They took a picture from when he was in uh, 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 England last year. They took that picture and put it next to Melania and her outfit. And that was their Christmas picture. Wow. Her, didn't get to him. her she mind is already set on leaving. She is out of there. Right. Yeah. She going to get paid. Uh-huh. But that book she writes is going to be vicious. Epic, yes. I can't wait. I cannot wait. That book is going to be. I hope she talk about their sex. I hope she put his little dick ass out there. I hope she say, he, you know, he can't get hard. I hope she say two inches. I hope he say, he, he you know, every time he has this like he a virgin, he come in three seconds. I hope she embarrasses the shit out of his ass, man. Yeah. I hope she say he got shit stains in his drawers. I hope she talk about how he eat, how he can't keep food in his mouth. How, how the older. Food? Yeah, I hope she talk. I hope she dogged the shit out. Let me. You know what? That's one thing about men. We so stupid when we get with our women, right? Because we we get real relaxed. We become ourselves, man. You know, you leave your woman. If your woman want to destroy you, man, she can. She talk back. You know, he, all he do is fart. He mm-hmm. he don't say excuse me. Right. You know, um, he think he a good father to the children because he in the house, but he in one room. The kids downstairs. He don't never watch him. Do you know he don't brush his teeth? You know he. he he get up and go to work. He wash his face and he uses washcloth to uh, wipe his teeth. You yeah. don't even, man, woman, a woman can destroy you, man. We will break you down. We'll say yeah. John Reedy literally. <laughs> pick his butt and smell his fingers while watching the game. Yeah. <laughs> man, a woman to destroy the hell out you. Talking about he, he came in a house and I thought he was going to get in the shower. He took off all his clothes. We had a towel wrapped around him. Next thing I know, he laying in the bed. <laughs> Yo, what a woman will destroy you, man. That's, that's right. That's right. We so stupid. <laughs> it's not going to change, though. I mean, Uh-oh. we could be your biggest cheerleaders, and we can definitely destroy you if we mm-hmm. need to. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why I'm staying with by the this truth. Time. With that truth, right. this time. <laughs> but it's I'm like generations by. after generations, you guys are deliberately confused. You know this. Right, you set yeah. yourself up. We're stupid. That's all. <laughs> we're stupid. I mean, I, 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 what, what I say, we have not evolved at all. We, we are the <laughs> only species. You got ants that have evolved. We have not evolved. We haven't. We're still trying to um rub two sticks together to create fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We haven't. That's that's why it kind of kills me that women. So many, so many women can't figure themselves. Like, yo, we're stupid. What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey, hey, we have not changed. What's going on with you? Exactly. That's a whole show. Yeah, that's a whole nother show. <laughs> that's You're right. The show. Yep. That's a show, a two day show. That, yeah, that show's a, coming in 2021, part, y'all. That's a part three show. I have some <laughs> questions to ask. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> I feel like that show might be the, that, that could be a preview for the show for uh, January 5th. We can talk. I'm gonna need some real alcohol for that show there. Yeah, we, we still got an all ladies panel show coming up soon, sometime. So we'll get that together. We'll let y'all know. <laughs> yeah, so we're what working about, on What we're are you guys on. looking forward to for 2021? More I mean, I, I I hate to call it resolutions, but you know, what what are we looking forward to? I mean, I have a laundry list, but yeah. I think mm-hmm. we all do. Um more money, um, safer areas for our kids, uh, safer, area, safer places for our family. Uh, let's see what this government does. Uh, uh, we're, we're praying that this government can, this new government can do what it's supposed to do and make us better uh, or help make us better. Um, we're also praying that less people die, I guess, you know, for COVID-19. Yeah. Me personally, I'm just... Um, Praying that I get to see another day every day, you know. Well, you know, I want to be able to be hanging with you guys every Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, 2021, I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I got some, it, I, it's, I'm going to tell you, when I was sick, right, 
And then you're out for two weeks, they put you on a COVID pay. And I'm used to working 24 hours of overtime a week, 24 to 28. Right. So I fell behind on some things. Uh, well, not, not, you know, first of all, I ain't pay no bills when I was sick because I refused to die with no money in the bank. I ain't know if I was going <laughs> to die. So I ain't pay no fucking bills. I hear that. So. Baby, it's all on you. It's all on you. Yeah. I, hold up. I got, I got some fun money, you, yep. you know, but I, I refuse. That's the other t-shirt. Fuck but, them bills. Yeah, fuck them bills. <laughs> so um, the, the, the last week has been really, really incredible. Um, I'm no longer on child support. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's six eighty a paycheck, dog. Yeah. Um, I'm no longer on child support. Uh, my buddy's gonna pay me the. Uh, well, I, we, he lost a bet to me, and he's well enough so I can get my money. That's two hundred dollars. We got the five hundred dollars from the hospital for working through COVID. I'm in the fantasy championship, so I'm gonna walk away with no less than three hundred dollars. I could win eight hundred dollars. So. Going into 2021, I'm just feeling really good financially because I don't have to work all that overtime to replace that money that vacuum cleaner ass mother it is was taken from me. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have more time at home with my family. I'll be able to do more stuff for myself and uh, for our program. So I'm just looking for a more prosperous year. I don't give a fuck. But we never go outside. I, I'm good inside. You know what I'm saying? Stuff. So I don't care. You know, we got Zoom and shit. You can go Facebook Live. Fuck it. People making money doing this shit. So yeah. outside is gone to me, as far as I'm concerned. I don't care. You know what I mean? Uh, long she in the house with me. I, I, I hey, what they say, God, in when you get married, I got in house coochie. So yeah, I'm right. good. I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all better get good. Y'all better get. I'm good. I'm staying in the house where it's safe, and I'm gonna get that vaccination. I'm be the first one. Like my man said, we're gonna it's gonna be a family affair. All of us gonna go down together. We have a picnic basket. We're gonna wait in line for our turn. And little baby bag gonna get his shot on up the papa bag. We getting that shit. I ain't playing with y'all, man. But shit. when are you getting it though? Because you you said you wasn't gonna get not, it in twenty one. Not in twenty twenty. Not in twenty twenty. Yeah. I'm gonna get it next year. Right. Right. But when? Like the beginning, the at middle. What? Oh no! As soon as they say we can get it, security. I'm going to get that shit. I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to have a flag pin on my chest. I'm going to have a COVID <laughs> band. I'm a COVID survivor. I'm going to have all that shit, man. I don't get it. Conspiracy theory, my ass, man. Look, I, I got vaccinations when I was a baby back in 79. And I know they ain't know what the fuck they was doing back in 79. <laughs> so right. it's 2020. Yeah, I fuck, I'll take a chance. 2021, I'll get that shit. They was playing, um, playing spin the bottle, whoever land on get the vaccination. Shit, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I got two. I got two goddamn bottles right here. We are going two at a time. We are gonna get that shit done. The good vibes TV brew. Mm-hmm. And wash it down with. Yes, Lord. Man. <laughs> Process. I don't like. I don't um really um like I said. I don't get into the whole you know, New Year resolution and all that kind of stuff. You know, I just um, I just want to look forward to what twenty twenty is going to bring. You know, um, I have a lot whoa, of things. Whoa, 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 2020. You, you going to make I said 2021. Oh, okay. yeah. just making sure. Just making sure. Calm down. Yeah, 2020, bro, on COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need you to calm down. But yeah, I just An want orange to president. want to bring and, um, and, you know, just be healthy and live a healthy life and, you know, um, enjoy my family, enjoy the, um, the people that's in my life and build my brand. And, you know, like, like, um, Guiding said, um, Love seeing you guys and being with you guys every um Tuesday. So um I'm just gonna take, you know, 2021 20, one day at a time and just see what it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, um, oh, so next year I'm just looking for more unity amongst our people. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there is strength in numbers, and I believe that everybody has a part to play, a role to play, their own lane that they can be in and we can still merge together and come together and just, you know, be a powerful unit. They said something about December 21st being a day where um, Black people had got superpowers or something and somebody had showed an article and it said, actually, um, 
December 21st of this year marked 400 years of us being um, in enslavement. And um, it was in the Bible that it would be 400 years. And yesterday marked the 400 year mark. So Mm -hmm. I'm just looking forward to where we can go as a people. I'm just looking for that moment where we just get to not shine, but just showcase everything we have to offer, that we finally find our purpose, that we get better understanding, that we don't, you know, disrespect each other and one another. Um, Because Ramon, you touched on something about child support. And I was having a conversation with somebody and I said, you know, there is a choice. You don't have to have, you know, you don't have to have become a parent with somebody that you don't like or that you don't get along with. We, it was that, that was a tough conversation because, you know, people, you know, we all love kids. We all love being parents, but at the end of the day, sometimes you don't have to go through um, 18 years of heartache as some people, you know, say. So I, I am just looking forward to us just actually being who we are as people before we jump into things that we make cognitive conscious decisions on things. I'm just ready. I'm here for us as black people. I'm just ready to see it. And it's going to start January 20th. I'm ready. Yes, Lord. (laughs) That's it. Hey, hey. 2021. Yeah, the fuck them kids. I'm telling y'all. That's what it's going to be, man. (laughs) Fuck them kids. Oh, my God. 2021. (laughs) Oh, Lord. So I think it's like what eight thirty-five. Yeah. It is. Oh. We, we did start a little late though. Um, you know, but um, because um, Santa Claus kind of took over the beginning of the um. Oh, show. that was awesome, man! I wish y'all, <laughs> you know, I, you know, my neighbor, that was awesome. He uh, he so up the street, not too far from us, up in um, uh, Towson Shopping Center where IHOP is that they have you can rent costumes and stuff. Well, because uh-huh. of COVID. They're not renting them, they're selling them, and they're selling them a half price. So he bought one and he played Santa Claus, uh, where him and his band play. They played this uh spot somewhere up on Bel Air, Maryland. Okay. So me and him got to talking last week, and I said, Man, it would be really cool if you could just stand outside the house dressed as Santa Claus for my kids to see. And he said, Oh yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. And um, it was really cool because me, me and the wife, we in the house at seven o'clock, and I'm like, I don't know, is he gonna call me or whatever? And he stood outside the gate, and you can hear him say, ho, ho, ho. And I was like, my eyes got big. Like, he was here to see me and shit. So the funny <laughs> thing is, so tell you what, now, now, we, now we got to find the kids, right? You know where the kids are at? Both of them taking a shit. One upstairs in the bathroom, <laughs> the other one downstairs in the bathroom. We got to get them out the back. Come on, come on, wipe your ass. Come on. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. <laughs> and uh, they get outside, Ooh, and, you know, and for five minutes, they're, they're like shocked. <laughs> Like he's at the house, so they're like standing there, like tell them what you want for Christmas, tell them that one gift, and they're like, uh, uh, and and I took a go. shit then because I would have shit my pants now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, so, I mean, that was that was so cool. Thank y'all for holding the show up. That was, you know, it, it's like you said, those those are the those are the acts of kindness mm-hmm. that we need. You and, know, what and, I'm saying? basically just making memories, Mem- making that's memories it. that your kids that's would it. would remember later, could talk about later. And, that's you know, it. that's that's what you got to do. You got to make memories. And a lot of times as parents, we forget um, with, and we go to or we go on with our day to day lives. We doing this. We're working. But da, 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 get out my face. You know, da, 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 da. but, you know, we say fuck them kids. But sometimes <laughs> you got to remember um, you got to say, hey, you know, this, we got to make memories for them. You got to make memories. You, these are the things they remember. they're not going to remember how much money you make. They're not going to remember. Hey. My dad used to work real hard, but they're not going to remember that. They're going to uh-uh. remember the one time you sit down and play a chess game or you sit down mm-hmm. and you play Monopoly. Or you sit down and you watch the movie with them. That's the stuff they remember, you know, yeah. um, you know what? An outing, something like that. Yeah, you're right. Because like when I was younger, that's what I remember with my exactly. dad. Exactly. You know, walking the dog in the snow and right. he train his dogs and he to let me go with him and. He didn't like me going with him because I was the one that felt sorry for the dogs. Mm, yeah, he I know it. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, like you said, um, all them little things like that, it um, it stays in your head. And mm-hmm. you know, a lot of children, we didn't, we didn't worry about the money. We worried about right. you know going out, having them special times, and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, shoveling snow, just 
simple stuff. Yeah, and a lot of times, being home. Um, yeah, a lot of times our um, parents, even ourselves, we forget that. Yep. And I, and I'm not saying it's because she's on the show, but I love how Tierra is with her um her daughter. Yep. You know, I really do. Yeah. I had to tell her that the other day. She's and she's making a little entrepreneur out of her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, she had, as, as her signs yeah. say behind her, she's an unstoppable force. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love it i'm excited for her she's 12 going on 30 you know oh my god okay so are you in are you in maryland i'm in dc so i have a uh, an 11 year old who is also going on 30 uh-huh. so when the next time hopefully in 2021 yeah. Um, we can make our, our annual trip, my daughter and myself, and I would love to get to like meet you guys, but yeah. to have like our girls come together, that would be so, so wonderful. Absolutely. Absolutely. She's the only child. So she loves play dates. She loves Same my, kid. my child has zoom play dates. Like, yeah. It's, it's, All it's wild. Time. And it's like, I, I'm, I'm grateful because I feel bad. You know, I feel like, gosh, I, this poor kid. But there she is. She's like on Zoom and she's like cutting mm-hmm. stuff out. Mm-hmm. She tried playing with uh, with Regan's boys. And, you know, they're too too boyish for her. Not a young boys bordering uh, uh, young men. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, yeah. So, I, can you imagine the conversation like, I don't know. I woke up this morning. I got three strings of hair on my balls. So she probably like, <laughs> like uh, water balls. Yeah, like what? <laughs> water balls. <laughs> oh, I can't yeah. relate. Mom, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Can Boys are crazy. Boys are crazy. <laughs> yep. They are. They are. It's yeah. it's something because I mean we haven't seen. I haven't seen Regan since like in in the flesh since August. No. Yeah. August was it Regan of yep, yep. 20, 2019. Wow. We yeah, 2019. Yeah. We're in Maryland every year for the summer and we have not been anywhere. So that's definitely something we're looking forward to in 2021. I'm looking forward to first and foremost January 20th at noon. Right. And um <laughs> and then from there on, I am looking forward to being vaccinated. I am looking forward to being back in my classroom like a regular teacher and being with my students. And I'm looking forward to to traveling with with my daughter and being able for her to be with her family and her cousins and like like real normal people. And so and just and you know like what you guys are talking about just to unite as, as people, like we need to get back to that. Yep. It's, it's yeah. sad. And it's, and yeah, it's scary. Yep. It's scary. I, mm-hmm. I'm, I was like telling my dad, I said, I, I don't know where this is going, but this, this election goes one way. I'm, I'm moving back to the islands with my kid. Like I can't <laughs> even, I'm kind of scared. Right. The crazy you part know, is you, you little girl. right now you can't even get back to the islands because they're shut. They're all shut down. <laughs> You know, and that's and the my, sad part. Yeah, you have to land somewhere else and take a boat. <laughs> it's really sad. Uh, so, w- where our nation is right now, but I do think we are at the bottom of the barrel, and the only place to go now is up. Yes, we can only move up. So, yep. <sighs> all right, so. I guess this will be it for, the, for for until next year, Moan. Until next year. Yeah. Hey, I uh, want to thank everybody who supported the show. Of course, all our guests that have been on the show this year, everyone who's tuned in every week, everyone who has commented, everyone who has supported, especially the first show of the second season was awesome. Uh, everybody came out and supported, showed mad love. The vendors had mad love. Um, Savvy did a great job. PRS1, you do a great job. Uh, you know, we just had so much fun and uh, we, we thank you, love, and appreciate you. Um, we'll be back January 5th, 2021, and uh, we'll talk about how men are more dominant than women and women can't handle it because, you know, it is what it is. We also got our own new group that you can get $6 a bottle, GV TV style. 
So, until next year, I'm RL. Mr. PRS1, that's Savvy E. We have Dr. Gaia Dean and the lovely TJ on. Stay safe. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's. We out.